Tonight, as the suspect in Saturday night's fatal downtown shooting made his first appearance in court today, Michael Lee's bond has been set at $1 million. He is charged with second degree murder for killing 22 year old Jacoby Ford. Krem 2's Ian Smay was in court for Lee's first appearance today. Ian, you also learned more about the case from newly released court documents. Mark Whitney, Michael Lee was already facing charges of second degree assault and harassment from a separate incident in February. That harassment charge stemmed from Lee threatening to kill Jacoby Ford. Ford was a graduate of Shadle Park High School, and while there, he was a standout multi-sport athlete. A star at track and field, he became the first athlete since 1967 to sweep the long jump, triple jump, and high jump events at the 2017 USA Track and Field Junior Olympics. He also shined on the basketball court, even winning the dunk contest at HoopFest in 2019. HoopFest also posted about Jacoby today, remembering him as a star athlete and announcing that he had recently signed to be a professional track athlete with Trident Sports Management. Now, according to court documents, Lee sent message, messages threatening to shoot and kill Ford because Ford was dating a woman that Lee had previously had a child with. Those co court documents quote Lee as sending messages such as, I'm putting one in your head and I'm shooting you. On February 9th, court documents say Lee showed up to Ford's girlfriend's apartment as she was leaving with their kid and Ford. Witnesses told police that they saw Lee allegedly pull a knife on Ford's girlfriend before bystanders stepped in to defend her. As part of that case, Lee was not to possess any firearms or deadly weapons. Now, we've also obtained court documents that shed more light on what happened leading up to the shooting on Saturday night. According to a document filed in court today, one of Ford's sisters was with him that night at a downtown bar. During the night, court documents say Ford's sister reported that Lee came up to Jacoby and act, acted as if he was taking photos or videos of Ford. Now, the documents also say Ford's sister told police that after they left the bar, Ford and Lee looked like they were going to fight. During that altercation, she says Lee turned away from Ford before turning back at him. His sister then told police she didn't see the gun, but did see sparks from four gunshots and Lee running from the scene. Another witness also reported hearing four gunshots. The court documents also state that a Spokane police officer found a gun in a parking lot where Lee had fled. Second degree murder is a class A felony in Washington, meaning if convicted, Lee could face life in prison. Coming up at six tonight, I have more from Lee's appearance earlier today. For now, back to you. All right, Ian, thank you.